Hi, second graders. Today, we are working in Unit 2, Lesson 3. In this lesson, we will practice representing numbers in many different ways. Numbers don't always just have to look like numbers. We can show them in different ways, and we're going to review those different ways in today's lesson. Let's first start with representing numbers in some ways that we've been practicing in our previous lessons. Now, as you can see, we have three different boxes on the screen. The first box has just a regular number in it, 89. Now, we don't want to call it a regular number because it has a very special second grade math word and it's its name. It's called standard form. Can you say that with me? Standard form. Standard is another way to say regular. Regular form is just showing a number with numbers. It's just the regular way that we write them. So standard form is already completed for us. Next, let's practice as a quick draw, 89. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Always making sure that I organize. 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89. And the last piece that we practiced was expanded form. This is when we take that number and we stretch it out to make an equation. When we look at the number 89, I look to count how many digits it has. It has one, two. That means my equation is going to have two lines that I'm adding together. Now, we ask ourselves, how much is this eight worth? It's eight tens. Eight tens is worth 80, and nine ones is worth nine. 89 is 89. We can also say it slowly, just like we practiced in our last lesson. Let's try another example. Our standard form number is 147. Let's draw it. 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 141, 142, 143, 144, 145, 146, 147. Now, this number has three digits. So one, two, three. Then my equal sign. I had to drop my 147 down to the bottom. Now let's say it really slow, ready? 147, let's write it in. 147, we can stretch that number out to make it into our equation. Let's try another number. In this one, we have the standard form number of 15. Let's draw 15. I have 110 and 5 ones. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And I have two digits in my number, which means I have two parts to my expanded form. Now let me ask myself, how many is 110 worth? 110 is just worth 10. And how many are five ones worth? Five. 10 plus five equals 15. Last one together. In this number, we have the number 96. Let's draw it. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96. I have one, two digits, so I'm going to put my two lines here, my 96 at the end, and let's ask ourselves, how 
much is nine tens worth? If I have nine tens, that means I have 90. And how much is six ones worth? Six, 96, 96. Great job, second grade. I can also represent numbers using something called word form. And since it has the word, word, in it, you can probably guess that we can write numbers using words. If you take a look at the chart on our screen, you will see a bunch of different numbers. Now, this is not every number, but it is all the major numbers from 1 down to 100. This chart is in your math activity book. So, instead of showing 74 with numbers in standard form, I can write 74. I can find them on my chart. There's 70 and 4. And I can use my word form to write it out. Watch how I do that. 70. And then in between the tens and the ones, I put a little dash. 74. 74. Just like that. Let's look at the next number. 120. Five. Let's find all of those pieces. 125. Now I only put this dash in between the tens and the ones. So if I put 100, that's not the tens or the ones. So I don't need a dash between there. 120. Five. So 25 gets that little dash in the middle. This will take a little bit of practice, especially remembering all of the spellings of our words. But as we get more used to it, it will become easier and easier.